The woolly mammoth went extinct almost 10,000 years ago, but it might walk again in the Arctic tundra. This might seem straight out of a science fiction movie, but is going to be a reality as early as the year 2027. Scientists at a company called Colossal have undertaken a project to bring the woolly mammoth back to life. This has been possible with two path-breaking scientific achievements. The first is successful extraction of mammoth DNA and sequencing the genome. The second is called CRISPR, a revolutionary gene editing technology. Using CRISPR technology, scientists plan to cut a piece of 60 genes that give the mammoth its unique traits. It will be pasted into the DNA of the Asian elephant, which is 99.6% similar to mammoths. These 60 genes give the mammoth the ability to survive in the cold by producing more body fat and growing thick fur. These also give it smaller ears and tail and its unique dome-shaped head. The embryo created by this technology will be implanted in a surrogate elephant or an artificial womb. This is where it will grow into a calf for the 18 to 22 months of gestation period. The area designated for this experiment has been aptly named the Pleistocene Park. It is currently a 20 square kilometers enclosed area in northern Siberia. The big question that comes up is, why spend millions of dollars and go to such an extent and create an animal that has been long extinct? Scientists believe that bringing mammoths back to the region will help restore the ancient steppe ecosystem and also preserve the permafrost. The Arctic permafrost holds massive amounts of carbon. Melting permafrost, due to global warming, is releasing this carbon into the atmosphere in the form of greenhouse gases. This is creating a feedback loop. The raised temperatures are further melting the permafrost. The melting ice is also bringing ancient viruses back to life, creating a threat of unknown pandemics. Heavy-footed mammoths help trample the snow. This pushed the permafrost deeper. They also helped the grasslands to dominate the ecosystem. With mammoths gone, shrubs, moss, and trees are taking over the region. Although this news sounds exciting, but a lot can also go wrong. Many scientists argue that this is not de-extinction at all, but the creation of a new, synthetic animal. There are many aspects that should be carefully considered. To be effective, hundreds and thousands of mammoths will have to be created. This also brings up ethical considerations, as multiple elephants will be used for surrogacy, a species that is already endangered. The new animal might have abnormalities and deformities, or unexpected traits that harm the ecosystem even further. The environment has changed considerably since the mammoths went extinct. It is possible that the plant species they were dependent on are also extinct or not growing in sufficient quantities. There is a possibility that these animals might just end up being a curiosity in a zoo or a tourist attraction.